everyone and welcome. Today we are going to be working with LCM, which stands for least common multiple. And we are going to determine the least common multiple between the two numbers 6 and 10 by using the listing method. This is my favorite method when it comes to LCM because all you have to know is your multiplication facts. So what you're going to do is you're going to write your 6 and you're going to write your 10. Now all you have to do is you have to list the multiples of each number. So let's take a different color. I'll take blue. And I'm going to list my multiples of 6. Well, I know 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. And I'm listing, so I'm using commas. 6 times 3 is 18. Times 4 would be 24. Times 5 is 30. Times 6 is 36 times 7 is 42. I'm going to stop there because I ran out of room. If I need to go even further, I can. But right now I'm going to stop there. Now I'm going to take a look at my tens. Tens are easy. 10 times 1 is 10. Times 2 is 20. Count with me. 30, 40, 50, 60. And I'm going to stop there because I think that's far enough, but if I have to go further in the future, I will. So now I have my multiples listed for both 6 and 10. And now comes the fun part. You have to pretend you're an investigator and you have to investigate these lists of numbers to determine if there's anything that they have in common. I already see something that I think would be really helpful. I have two 30s. Do you see anything else that they might have in common? In this case, I do not. So my least common multiple is as easy as that. My least common multiple is 30. I want to ask you something. What if I kept going with my list of six? What number would I end up with that's on my list of 10? That's a tricky question. Let me ask it one more time. What if I kept going listing my multiples of six. What number would you land on that's also in the multiples of 10? I would have landed on 60. Why is my 60 not my least common multiple? Although they have it in common, 60 is greater than 30, so it is not the least common multiple you need to make sure that you are pulling the smallest number that they have in common. I hope this helps and good luck on finding the LCM. Thank you.